Good evening, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. When we left off last time, we defeated Ezreal. We found Flowey as Ezreal, we'll getting to the heart of everything. Look at all of our friends lined up there. They were wonderful. Now, I... So we got to a point where all of the monsters are saying, okay, we can walk through where the barrier was together. This is going to be, this is it. So say your goodbyes now. So I decided, well, let's go back to say my goodbyes. And, well, I want to say goodbye to every single monster because they're going to all say different things. So I kept going further and further back. Oh, well, there's these ones here, there's these ones here. Until if I get way back to where we first landed, Let's just go back as far as I can and look, look. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Don't worry about me, but I am worried about you. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone, but I'm concerned about you here all by yourself. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. Well, he did say he's going to turn into flowery again. It's better if they never see me. Hmm. Why are you still here? Well, because I want a happy ending for you too. Are you trying to keep me company? Well, that would be pretty great, huh? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Frisk? Why did you come here? What, back to where you are here? Because I wanted to say goodbye to everyone. Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbett are said to disappear. Now, ooh, now this is a very good question. Why did I come up here in the first place? Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? Well, I don't, though. It's, it's a really good question. I know why Lavinia climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. What was it? Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Lavinia hated humanity. Oh, wow. Why they did, they never talked about it. They felt very strongly about that. Huh. Frisk, you really are different from Lavinia. In fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't ever, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is. Lavinia wasn't really the greatest person. Oh, wow. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. Oh, thanks, Azrael. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest. I did some weird stuff as a flower. Yes, weird is one way you could describe it. Well, you got anything else to say? There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Lavinia and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. Okay? They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to... to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Oh, Frisk. This whole time, I have blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Ah, oh, that was what the kill or be killed was all about, huh? Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you... Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. Yeah. I did the right thing. You did, and sometimes it doesn't work out the way that you would like, but take comfort in knowing that you made the best choice for you, at least. You did the thing that feels right for you. 
If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. Yeah, and, and again, I'm still very concerned how that would work out for the monsters, because I don't think it would go well. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad, knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Nope. No point. Can't go back. Well, most people can't go back and change them. There's some some craziness going on with save ability here, but... Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Anything else? Frisk, thank you for listening to me. Anytime, buddy. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Well, you're my friend, too. Oh, and please. In the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I won't. I will think of Flowey as a separate, hateful being. I, I just want you to remember me like this. No, I understand. This is who you truly are. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk? Be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. That's a very wise of you to realize, Azrael. You are absolutely right. The monsters overall, I mean, other than occasional attempted fights to the death that turn into friendships, um, they've been pretty fantastic. And it generally does seem to be a nicer place overall than the real world. Or the upper world, however. There are a lot of flowers out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. I know, but it was actually really nice um, going through this game and being able to... Being nice got us everything we wanted in the end, and it's kind of fun to take a step outside of reality sometimes and enjoy something where being nice always is a reward. I mean, overall, I think in life it's beneficial to be nice on the whole, but it's, it's not always going to... Work just because you're nice isn't going to turn enemies into friends. Frisk, don't kill. Don't be killed, alright? Deal. That's the best you can strive for. Do no harm. Well, see you. Anything else? Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Well, I have a lot of people to say goodbye to, but... Alright, now you're repeating, so I guess that's that. Hi, Ezreal. Okay, let's say goodbye to everybody else. I think I'm just gonna walk through pretty much the whole thing, because there's a lot of monsters in various places just, um, hanging out in the world. So, it's possible this episode's gonna run fairly long, because I'm gonna put all the goodbyes in one, I think, one episode. Dummy? Nothing? Alright. Frog it! Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. You seem like you've grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Well, thanks, Frog it! Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Ribbit. Aw, thanks, buddy. Take one. Take a candy? Well, why not? <gasps> oh no! Oh! You took more candy. How disgusting. Because, yeah, it says take one, and now I've taken more than one. Aww. <gasps> Looks like Cheese has a nibble taken out of it. Hey, Froggit. Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. For sure. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right. Pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? Ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? Huh? What? What are you talking about? What fourth frog? No, I didn't miss the bake sale. But what's he talking about a fourth frog? I didn't... No. I'm... Oh man. This fourth frog is gonna really bug me. 
Is there a hidden frog in here somewhere? Ribbit, ribbit. Yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green. Sounds great. This fourth frog thing is going to drive me nuts. I'm going to keep going because we got lots of goodbyes to say, but... Is there a fourth frog? Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? The barrier's open too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? <laughs> oh, and that's just the city, yeah. Most of the pie is gone. There are dog prints in it. <gasps> that annoying dog. Okay, here's this fishing pole. Anything? Ooh, the note changed. Never mind, guys. Alright. Hey, everybody! Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke! Laugh at it! And you? Snowy. Yep, it sure is. Oh, it's the amalgamate! Yeah! The doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family is bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined, 16 other people. Well, do you have to share it with other families too? I don't think this. Does I have a dead loved one back? Even if I had to share with others? I don't know. This note is written very oddly, as if the paper was moving while it was written. It says, Out to lunch. So, ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barriers opened up. Hmm. Then, if it's not too much to ask, I'll take it with me. Could you take that piece of me to the surface? For sure. I would really appreciate it. Worried about getting older. I'll stop being a teen. Yeah, but then you'll be an adult. That's got its own perks. No, I refuse. I'll just invent new numbers. Like, 20 teen. Oh, you silly thing. Ooh, it's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. Seems like something tried eating it and just gave up. How's it going? Ha! After all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Well, of course, it's a magnificent hat. Please? Yes. I'm thinking about your hat. <laughs> I guess we'll have to go to the surface. Well, if you want to. There are woods there we can live in, right? Oh, yeah. For sure. We're all free? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I'll stop lounging around. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Uh, I don't know. Which dog? <laughs> Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Well, where is the dog? I'd tell it. I know how to set myself apart now. An ear piercing. Do you have ears? Wait. Yeah, you, you don't, do you? Give chat. You're free if you want to be. Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. <laughs> you do that. There was never anything back here, was there? It's a door. That's another mysterious thing that I just don't know what it is. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people. Someone has to, right? Oh, I'm sure a lot of people are going to pay a ton of attention. It's going to be a big deal to them that all of a sudden monsters are showing up, but... We can hope that it'll be okay, since monsters are all so nice. Snowed in. We got all kinds of people to talk to here. Start the shop. Hello, traveler. Carry to chat? Sure. I mean, it happened to you, right? Though what happened? There was a strange flash of white light. 
and I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly everything was back to normal. Okay, human. I heard that was all because a human came through here. A human? I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. You don't realize that I'm human, do you? Okay, ruins. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up. Get this. They were opened from the inside. Uh-huh, Toriel was living in there. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Okay, how about the future? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. I haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Sounds good. Alright. Let's talk to your sister next door. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. You sure can? What's so great about that, anyway? I don't want to move. Actually, I'm kind of with you, kiddo. I mean, like, if you're happy here, then stay here. Hello. Sorry, no time for a nap. Snowed in is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Well, if everyone's going to gather, then I mean, kind of... Well, if you want to stay behind, you can stay behind, but... Uh... Is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling amalgamates, or...? No, they're not so bad. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute! Second... What? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? <laughs> not really! It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. It'll be brand new to them, I'm sure. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Hey, little monster. Yo, what's up? I've been kinda doing some thinking. Yeah? Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. No, she's good now. We're all friends. She's just kinda... mean. She's intense, but... But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Who? Yeah. Oh no, Papyrus. <laughs> I heard Dr. Alphys told the King and Queen the awful things she'd done. The King felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the Queen fired her. <laughs> now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. Uh, indeed. Did you have anything more to say? You were kind of a major character for a bit. Yeah, dude. Yep. Okay, Rollbees. I wonder if the overworld has hot guys and neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. Probably will work out that way, yeah. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems likely we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well. Guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. <laughs> Grillby? Good job. Oh, thanks, girls. Wow, a brand new world. Might not get to translate for Grillby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. Yeah, but your I saw that your rod says that's okay. So kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Alright, I won't. Somewhere you hear a whinny of dismay. It finally won a game of poker against itself. <laughs> Good for you! Where's all my other dogs? I really wanted to talk to my dogs. Looks like I don't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say a joke here, but I really don't have one. No worries, friend. Oh, well, we're free? Finally. I'll be able to stop smiling. Okay. Oh, hey guys! Hmm, now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? No, not really. Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. 
that's a valid point. Aha! Uh -huh. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Oh my. Doggo? Having an amorphous, shambling family member is great. It is. They're always moving, so I can see them 100% of the time. <laughs> if that works out for you, buddy. Welcome to the library. This is the last day we'll be open, so make as much noise as you want. The greatest struggle of my life is over. I just solved today's crossword. Congratulations. Oh my, there's so much news to report. I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? That seems kind of silly, but you go for it. This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big the end on the front and call it a day? Okay, which way do I want to go? Up for now, because I don't want to take the boat. Now we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Indeed. Hmm, when humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Waha, this is adventurous spirit. I'm like a kid again. And my children are like double children. That's how it works. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Are, are you ever going to say anything else? Come on. The world's been saved. Ugh, whatever. Oh, hey. Awesome. I'm so happy we get to talk to this fella. Cause we, we could never reach him before. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. <laughs> This whole time you've had to work without pants, and you just wanted some, you poor fella. Go get you some pants. Ice Wolf thinking of changing their name to Jimmy Hot Pants. Go for it, buddy. I do want to talk to the boat person eventually, but we're going to talk to everybody else first. Ah, uh, nobody's gonna be here. They're all waiting for me. And I don't think there'll be anything in here either. Oh, locked from the inside. That's right. Oh, and we gotta make sure we say goodbye to the Temmies. Flower. Repeats the last thing I heard over and over. I know that. You don't have anything else to say? Neat, huh? Yeah. Alright, that's a little boring, but that's okay. Aha! Uh -huh. The surface intimidates me. The entire outer layer of the earth is made of dirt. Oh, is this Washua? Yeah. Sorry, Washua, I know that's not your kind of thing. Ah, seems like the mouse has freed some of the cheese from the crystals somehow. Excellent. Sweet. We can go and see the real stars now. You can! But I still don't know what those are. You'll see. You'll see. Well, let's talk about it. Did you hear? You're back! I'll tell you a big secret. Alright. I'm starting a band, you hear? It's called the Red Hot Chibi Peppers. <laughs> All I thought of is the name. And I don't play instruments or sing. Well, do you think we'll be popular? For sure. Yeah, me too. You don't have anything to say about, you know, the great barrier coming down thing? 
No, that's it. Okay. How do I talk to this one? Okay. <gasps> it's good to be with my sister again. That's wonderful. Oh, hey. First, ghosts are real. Now, anime is real. All my nightmares are true. <laughs> I've been wondering when we're all gonna go free. Oh, good, you do have something to say about the barrier going down. Since, if we did, how would I ever know? Well, I'll keep my tentacles out for you. You hear? As soon as I know, I'll be the first to tell you. You hear? I... Can't we tell it right now? So, you helped get us all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. Hey, hey! Matatan! There you are, Frisk Darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Elf has completed my wonderful new body. Ooh, when did you hear? The barrier is open. Well, there you go. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. Really? Good for Shiren. And Blo Napster Bloop here will be my sound mixer. Hey hey! The three of us performing together it really feels overdue, doesn't it? Well, there you go. Oh, not a ton. I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on. When I was pretending to sleep. <laughs> no one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward. But, what's your name? <laughs> Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. The snails disappeared? And I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. Oh, the snails are back. Good job. It's a snail. I wonder if Toriel has seen it. Oh, I assumed Asgore was the one who went to the snail farm. No, Toriel was the one because someone who used to regularly come and then stopped. Snail Snail, you reached the end of your extensive journey. Snail Snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. Thanks, Snail. The housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. Using its money, the snail bought a hat. Good for you, snail. Wahaha, <laughs> I knew you could do it. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Fluffy buns, why? Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, Your turn, Fluffy Buns. <laughs> the audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns. And the rest is history. Alright, that's a pretty good story. <laughs> is Asgore a goat? Huh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower patterned Moo Moo. I, how did... Oh, folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. Well, it is an unfortunately named garment. What was the question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. 
when they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flow into the child, causing the child to grow as the parent's age. Okay, don't most kids grow as their parent's age? But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age. Probably will be forever. Oh, that's weird. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore is your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Alright. About Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together. Nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank god those days are over. Wow. What about Undyne? Undyne. She's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself, back in the old days. Gerson, the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. What, what bad guys are down here, though? Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though most of the time the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that, and that sounds like our Undyne. Anywho, I appreciated it. Aha! Well, I think that's good for us here. Don't drag your dirty feet in here. I just cleaned this trash. <laughs> good for you, Washua. Tummies! I miss your tummy music. Whoa, time here news. Very goods. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, Thames can go free. That's right, you Thames can be wherever you want to be. A pleasing development, no? <laughs> yes. Whoa, if Thames can go on surface, can see a lot of cute Hunan. <laughs> Um, sure, you you certainly can. Everyone's go free, but Tem! Tem not leave. Tem watch egg. It's, it's hard-boiled, Tem. Tem will be happily family. Oh, Tem. Oh. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? No one knows. It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they're willing to transplant me outside. Oh, well, good deal! Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. No, it was a good dance. Hoives! Yep. What about this time hiding back here? She's waiting for someone to let her out. How do... How can I let her out? Hey there, Tem Shop Temmy. Um, hello? Holy! I'm Tammy, I know, don't you want to say anything about... I guess not. Well... We'll see you, Tammy. Hey there, buddy. You again. Bah. I don't care about going free. Really? Do you think humans could appreciate the details of classic puzzles? Oh, I do indeed, friend. I do indeed. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to have a nice drink on the surface. Yeah, enjoy that. Well, hello there. Oh, freedoms. Feels so spicy. Freedom feels spicy? How's it going? Ha 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 ha. If we leave, no one will really ever know. Okay. Barriers opened up, so we don't have to go to work today. I mean, sure, we're free. But it's the little things, you know? <laughs> yeah. Today, we all started as co-workers. Who knows what will be tomorrow? So we're all gonna go free. Does that mean I don't get to go to work? Hey, did you hear? The barriers opened up. Now school has to be cancelled, right? There will be lots of places to loiter on the surface, I bet. There will indeed. I've been thinking about getting a sick skateboard. Go for it. On the surface, we'll be able to watch all kinds of TV. 
But I bet none of those shows are as good as Matatun's. Matatun's show's probably quite interesting. Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins. And we'll also be able to afford... A spider baseball field! We've already got the baseball donuts ready. Good for you, spiders. Metaton, he recognized my voice from when I called in, and... He... he gave me his address! I'm so... <sighs> You're so excited! Good for you, buddy. I'm so excited to sell nice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it'll be really popular. Uh, well, hopefully things go well for you. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. You will indeed. He seems happy. Hooray! Surface World will have so many new friends to help. Yep. What? Do you want a rematch? No, I wanted you to be excited that the barrier is done. You're free. So, freedom. So, we're like totally free now, huh? Yeah, like totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like cool. Like, millennia of being imprisoned finally over? Yeah, that's like pretty chill, I guess. Just a bit. Um, so, uh, I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity? We were just, like, joking, you know? Uh-huh. Did we say that? Probably? It's, it's like, practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was, Braddy's the best, Caddy's the coolest. <laughs> um, no. We've, like, literally never said that. Can it be, though? Can it be? <laughs> well, you silly gals. All right, well, what are you going to do? Hmm, now that we're going to be free... OMG, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat... You... Want a pet cat? That's like your dream, Caddy. But, Braddy... I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Caddy? <laughs> do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're like so tasty. <laughs> Pretty no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you? Kind of. <laughs> the look on Caddy's face. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around? It was, like, so clueless looking. I pet it for, like, an hour. Caddy? Yeah, Braddy? I think that was, like, a dog. Yeah, the annoying dog. <laughs> Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> well, best of luck to you in the future, ladies. Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it's still great to pass through. Well, yeah, I gotta say goodbye to everybody. Blub, blub. Now we can live life without reservations. Ha 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 ha. So, if we're leaving, well, my job... Oh, and I just got a raise? Well, I guess every apple has its core. <laughs> the surface world. Really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. Just maybe. Oh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. <laughs> no, just... <laughs> give up the ficus. Go be free. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. Oh, let's talk to this fella. 
What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? Well, because you're free. I just wanted to know. I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customers. Sorry. So I wanted to be an actor. Ooh, now he'll talk to me. Take it from me, little buddy. Okay, how do you feel about the freedom? So we're free, huh? Might have told us as much. Then he told me, don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Ah, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so, so much. <laughs> Alright, Braddy and Caddy. Those girls? The ones who saw my pants fall down? Well, we're all gonna be free, so I'll never see them again at least. <laughs> Fre freedom again? Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I... I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job. Well, the Glamburgers helped. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Alright, what are your plans? Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my uh, qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally, in this case. True enough. Anytime, little buddy. Alright, what about all you folks? Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news, the elevator started working again. But now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. Oh, it's in use. Okay. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Good to know the slime opinion. Nothing. Locked from the inside. Trying to finish up work. Okay. As a youth, I would sneak out to play by this creepy flaming pit. Since the core is always rearranging, it was like a game trying to find it. Now it is my special place. It's nice for cooking s'mores and things like that. Well, good for you. We were hired by Metaton to destroy you. But since he never paid us, we all decided to quit. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. Why do I look like a black sausage and not a knight or a wizard? Well, everyone has an angle they look best from. <laughs> Your best angle is a uh, shadowy sausage. Oh, the coffin is empty. You didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Well, all right, so it's possible I'm wrong, but I tried my best. I think I have talked to absolutely everybody. All goodbyes are said. It's time to go through. All right, friends. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I think it's time. Okay. I'm ready. Aww. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Yeah, all you guys haven't seen the sun in who even knows how long. Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sons. What's that giant ball? <laughs> the sun? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. <laughs> I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not?
but we should really think about what comes next. Yeah, we're gonna have to find, like, homes and stuff, and talk to people, make peace with them. All right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Sure. Will you act as our as our ambassador to the humans? Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. Thanks, Papyrus. And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. <laughs> I'll go make a good first impression. What? Well, hold up. <laughs> well, someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. That's not the way that he ran, sons. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait. Hey, Undine, wait up. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> that face. What do you think? Well, gotta go. seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. I'll hang with you for a bit, Toriel. Frisk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Well, I see. I feel bad because it, it seems like we're kids. So we probably do have parents somewhere who care about us, but this doesn't say like I have a family to go to. I just I have places to go. No, I. I'm even if we do have a family as the the player, we haven't met them at all, and we haven't met Toriel, and she's awesome. So yeah, staying with you, Toriel. What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier. None of this would have happened. Th yeah. Well, I thought it earlier, I just didn't get the option to say it to you, Toriel. It's a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Hehehe. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Thank you. Alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Alright, and it looks like that is the end. So that was Let's Play Undertale. Which, is it gonna... There we go. I'm honestly quite worried about a <laughs> professional frog. Still a bit guilty. Mold Small, backup dancer. Luke's reformed bully. Fetch Toy, pushy grocer. My guest casually enjoys life. Ooh, Napster Luke. What are you up to now? Spooky DJ. <laughs> Good for you, Papyrus. <laughs> oh, you silly skeletons. Ah. Snowdrake? Semi-successful comedian, Ice Cap, thinking about its hat, unsurprisingly. Ooh, Gift Trap. Christmas display. Oh, poor Gift Trap. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog. Dogami and Dogaressa? Still thinking about that stick. <laughs> Lesser Dog? Searching for affection. Oh, Greater Dog, excited by life's changes. You made it! <laughs> Look at her scooching in. Aww. <laughs> er, by Tammy, reluctantly. 
Paranormal Investigator, Mold Big, Idyllic Life on the Beach, Washua, Legendary Janitor, Temmy, always, always stay Temmy, Mad Dummy, Calm Down, just a bit, Tryrin, taking piano lessons again, oh yeah, Mataton, Nice show, guys. Vulcan, encouraging space heater. Cinder Plane, finally confesses. What? I don't! Haha. <laughs> Pyro, candle in the world's largest birthday cake. Muffet, spider success with a new bakery. Railguards. Use your imagination. <laughs> Final Froggit. Giving life its own meaning. Whims a lot. The long battle finally ending. Astigmatism. Domineering glasses seller. Magic. Street magician. Night night. Taking a well-deserved nap. I see some of these names are yellow and some are white. If it's white, does it mean I didn't actually successfully say goodbye to them? Amalgamates. Living with their families. Oh, she's a teacher. Look at her adorable outfit. Did you really think it was over? I I did. I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Oh, don't psych me out like that, Ezreal. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Yeah, if I just stay still, we'll probably do better, huh? If I'm trying to hit them, assuming- Whoa! <laughs> I like the hit points there. Infinity. Well, assuming this really is the end. I did quite enjoy this game. I- so to be realistic, I'm concerned about the future of the monsters. Like, how well will humanity really accept it? Like, if we were to think, if such a thing really happened and monsters just appeared out of some kind of underground, like, would everybody be okay with them? Or would there be mis misunderstandings? Would, would would the humans kill them, hurt them? It, ah, I'm nervous. The monsters are generally nicer than people are. So... But it, it was... It, it was just a very nice, pleasant story. I like that there was this ongoing kind of theme of redemption for people, and that if you just stick with kind, I, I appreciate the the message of the importance of kindness. I think, and I really, I really enjoyed the one point when Azrael said to us, "You know, everyone in the human world isn't going to be as nice as all the monsters were here. There's going to be some flowies," and he's right. There are, and. Like, in general, I mean, if you've seen any of my other Let's Plays, I'm not always about niceness and kindness. I, especially, like, some of the Telltale games where you have to make some kind of harsh choices sometimes. Um, <laughs> those are the only ones I got, huh? But anyhow, I really enjoyed that this one... This is a game that, I don't know, I felt like it wasn't about trying to pick whatever I necessarily thought I would do in a role. It was it was just about being as nice as possible and the niceness paid off. And I think even though that's somewhat unrealistic, I don't know that kindness always conquers all. I like the hope that it could. 
And so I appreciate this. It's just an exercise and basically, you know, it's like a nice mental break in a way. To just be kind and have that rewarded. Thanks, Toriel. Very sweet. Very sweet end. As I understand it, you can also choose instead of um, befriending everybody to kill everybody, and I think that sounds horrific and just really, really awful. Um, I'm not going to do that. I would feel bad. I, I don't really like being mean to NPCs, and I would feel really, really, really terrible to go through and be mean to all these monsters that are so kind. I, I like taking away from this the the hope and the message of the kindness. I, I very much enjoyed that, so... We're going to leave it at this. I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Head on back to my channel. There's a whole bunch of other Let's Plays you can check out, and there'll be more to come. Oh my gosh, the annoying dog just came. Hi, annoying dog. we got to watch and see if he's going to do anything. The dogs in here are another thing that just delights me to no end. And the tummies. Okay, I think that really is it.